I look back on it, if you put me back in college and you could tell me that I'd be on tour, done a full season on tour and I'm starting my second season, I'm not only a year and a half out of college, I'd have snapped at it, you know what I mean? When you do it and you look back and you think about things you could have done better and you, you watch tournaments like the Race Dubai on TV that you're not playing in, you know, it fills you with a bit more ambition to try to get there next year. So, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm happy where I am, but uh, definitely looking forward to try try to take steps up. On a tee from Ireland, Paul Dunn. Joint leader heading into the final round of the 2015 Open at St Andrews, Paul Dunn provided a near fairy tale ending on one of golf's grandest stages. The then 22-year-old amateur rose to the occasion and up the leaderboard before a disappointing final round ended the dream. But his performance propelled him into the limelight, an experience that whetted his appetite. Well done, well done. What we call a settler. Settler. The Open in 2015 gave me a, a lot of confidence in my game. Uh, you know, as an amateur, you're never really sure. You, you want to turn pro, but you're never really uh, sure how, how your game matches up against pros. So it was nice to see that when I played well, you know, I could do well in, in the biggest events. And I kind of just carried that confidence through the summer and into Q school. You know, I was quite confident going in every stage. And once I got through that, yeah, I, I just kind of thought I had a tour card and I wasn't really sure what tournaments you got into. You know, I kind of just thought I'd get into all the big ones. And you, you really just get into the, the smaller events and... Uh, the list doesn't go down far enough to get into the big events. So I was pleased with the year overall. I had a, a bad stretch in the middle for a couple of months. Uh, then I went on holiday you know, with my friends and I, I felt like that gave me a nice break and then I played well towards the end of the year. So I was pleased to keep my card. Now I can plan a full schedule for this season and uh, hopefully I can play well in big events. Making the transition from amateur to the fully paid ranks can be challenging for even the most talented. In his first professional season, Dunn endured a mixed set of results and struggled for consistency. However, he did enough to earn his card for 2017 and he's now eager to get in the mix for that first win. The management company I'm with have been great for me. Uh, they've handled all the the intricate details of day-to-day -day life so it's made my job very easy you know the transition was was quite easy from amateur to professional because you know I, I wasn't really worried about the behind the scenes stuff I was just kind of concentrated on traveling uh, a lot more traveling by yourself you know when you travel as an amateur it's with a lot of teams Irish teams college teams and you have a bit more company so as, as a pro it, it's spending a lot more time with yourself which can drive a few people crazy but you just gotta get used to it and you know, find things to pass your time, go see the city, and and uh, I've, I've read a little bit more, something I never do. I didn't enjoy it when I played poorly, but, you know, that's kind of something I'm looking at. I'm going to try and enjoy it more uh, all the time, you know, because I, I feel like how I played was reflecting of my mood, but then my mood reflect how I play, so you play poorly, you don't feel great, and then because you don't feel great, you keep playing poorly, so, you know, so... Um, I'm trying to kind of take every everything as it comes, you know, not, not get too high, not get too low, and and just let, let things come. I'm not really worried about other people's expectations, you know. I kind of just set my own standards and, and try, you know, try meet them myself. Uh, now I'm trying to focus on my process of getting better at the minute. You know, I'm going to try to get better each week and let the things take care of themselves. But I, no, I took a lot of confidence from it rather than you know, living up to expectation, you know. If people expect me to go win major straight away when I turn pro, I think it was a little bit unrealistic. So, um, you know, hopefully I'll get there one day, but I, I just have to keep getting better, keep improving like I did the last few years, and, and then hopefully I'll be there someday.